prospect score and scoring categories. In this lecture, we'll learn what is Pardot score and scoring categories. So what is prospect score in Pardot? Prospect score is a sum of points prospect gets after he or she has been cookied and interacts with your assets that further result in a single number that is prospect score. You can view your prospect score by going to the Pardot Lightning app and click on Prospects tab. Here, you will see a score column for all prospects. And by applying different filters on the top, you will be able to see the score for filtered prospects. Alternatively, you can view prospect score by clicking on each individual prospect record and also on the record page in Salesforce if you add your score field there. Now, let's talk about what are scoring categories. Think of scoring categories as your customer interests. A category score is incremented when a prospect performs the following actions on asset with an assigned scoring category. Submits a form or form handler, downloads a file, clicks on a custom redirect, clicks an email, or opens an email. Businesses choose to create scoring categories for their products or service lines. By doing so, they are able to see for each prospect individually what they are interested in the most based on their score for each category. Therefore, it becomes extremely straightforward to put prospects in the appropriate nurture journeys based on their readiness. The longer prospect exists in your Pardot org and keeps interacting with your assets, their score will be increased. If there are scoring categories that do not appear in prospects profile, it just simply means that prospects have not interacted with assets that are associated with that scoring category. The hands-on part. To create scoring categories, go to Pardot settings, expand automation settings, click on the scoring, and then click on add scoring categories button. So where can you see prospect scoring categories? You can see scoring categories for each prospect by going to his or her's profile and reviewing the insights section on the page. Alternatively, you can view each action that has been taken by the prospect separately for each scoring category in the activities section. So how does scoring categories work? Each scoring category must have its own folder. By placing all the related assets in a folder and applying scoring category to it, you will be able to make sure that prospects will be scored accordingly after interacting with an asset from each specific folder. You can assign the same scoring category to multiple folders, but each folder can have only one scoring category. An interaction with an asset counts towards the scoring category assigned to the assets folder. For example, a form submission on a landing page is attributed to the scoring category assigned to the landing page folder. Category scores are recalculated when you move assets among folders with, without, or with different scoring categories. Any interactions with assets not stored in the scoring category folder will count only towards the overall score, but not the specific scoring category. In the image, you can see that overall score is much higher than the scoring in the scoring categories. So this means that prospect interacted with assets that are not placed in the scoring category folder. So how is it all working then in Salesforce? To make sure everything is working correctly in Salesforce, you can add Pardot category scores to lead and contacts page layouts in Salesforce. To report on scoring categories in Salesforce, you can create custom report types and choose Pardot scoring category as a related object. Now let's discuss everything about deleting assets and categories. When you delete an asset in an assigned scoring category, the previously added points from the asset are removed from the prospect score. 
you can't delete scoring category that's actively assigned. First, you will need to remove the folder assignments and then delete the scoring category. And after you delete a scoring category, it's moved to the recycle bin. To reuse a scoring category name, you will need to undelete it. Duplicate names aren't allowed. And now let's summarize everything that we have learned. So first thing first, scoring category updates sync with Salesforce approximately every 15 minutes. Plus, advanced enterprise editions accounts support up to 50 scoring categories. And you can't manually edit category score on prospect records. It just is what it is. Scoring categories aren't supported with person accounts in Salesforce. And category scores are included with the full prospect CSV export. Awesome! Now you know the meaning behind the Parat score and scoring categories. Thank you for tuning in into this lecture and happy prospect scoring!